In this segment, I'm going to show you how to run your Laser Studio software. The first thing you have to remember is to plug in your laser, make sure it's plugged into the wall, make sure the switch is turned on just below the power cord, make sure the laser is plugged into the computer, make sure that your dongle is plugged into the computer, and make sure that your laser is turned on. All those conditions have to be met prior to turning on your software. To enable the software, basically I double click on the Radian Laser Studio icon that was created when you ran the setup wizard or did a manual install. So I'm go ahead and do that. It's not showing on your screen, but you're going to get a request uh, to allow the app from this unknown publisher to make changes to a computer. Go ahead and say yes. And the software should load normally. Now, if one of the conditions, go ahead and close this. If one of these conditions doesn't exist, if the laser isn't plugged in, if it's not turned on, if it's not turned on prior to opening the software, or if the dongle isn't plugged in, you're going to get an error. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the dongle and try to run the software. So double click on the icon. Now you see that I get an error. It's basically saying it doesn't see the dongle. The software won't start unless the dongle is plugged in. So hit OK. We'll go ahead and plug the dongle back in. And now when I double click on the icon, the software should start normally. And it does. OK. Now, if the laser isn't plugged in, or it's not turned on, or the USB cord isn't plugged in, you know, it should all produce the same error. Basically, when I, the, one of those conditions exists, I just unplug the USB cord, and I double click on the icon, I get an error. Basically says that I have a hardware error, and it doesn't see the hardware. I can say OK, and the software will still run. It'll still allow me to bring in images, vector files, and do editing, and so on and so forth, save all my parameters. But obviously, I can't run the software until my USB port is plugged in, uh, until the laser's turned on, until you know, so on and so forth. Uh, but that all has to occur before starting the software. So if I, now if I, as you heard, I uh, just plugged in the USB port, I still can't control the laser. I have to shut the laser software. I have to shut the software down. Now when I reopen it, the laser's turned on, the laser's plugged in, the USB port's plugged in, the, the dongle's plugged in. Now I can run the software. Thank you, and enjoy the next segment.